Against this backdrop, Serin Nocer has emerged as a clarion voice of the people, even as the Chinese government has worked to curtail the flow of information from Tibet. Through her website, called Invisible Tibet, her poetry, her nonfiction works, her savvy use of communication networks like Twitter, Sering has bravely documented the situation around her. And for her efforts, she is now subject to constant surveillance, followed by security agents, and at this moment is under house arrest. She says that to bear witness is to give voice and that is what she is doing for the millions of Tibetans who cannot speak for themselves. And she has vowed to never give up or compromise. So for courageously striving to improve human rights conditions for China's Tibetan citizens by illuminating their plight through her writings and thus giving eloquent voice to those whose stories might otherwise never be heard, Sering Oser is a woman of courage. Obviously, sadly, since neither of these women can be here, uh, we know that that will not deter them from continuing their work, and therefore it should not deter us from honoring their bravery and sharing their stories today, and we proudly do so. Next, 